and enables real-time communication and situational awareness even when all other systems fail. So even uh, when there's no cell, Wi-Fi, or satellite, our systems work. Mesh networking is not new to the public sector, but it traditionally looks like this. Uh, big, bulky, hard to use, and can cost ten to thirty thousand dollars for a single unit, up to two hundred thousand uh, bucks. We uh, up to what? Up to two hundred thousand uh, dollars, all, all bought in. Right? If you're if you're using the most expensive systems, and what that means is it's not practical for wildland firefighters to actually have mesh enabled situational awareness down to a single operator. So with our device that is ten to forty times less expensive at eight hundred forty nine dollars, we lower the barrier to entry and we make mesh networking technology available uh, to people outside the most well-funded military organizations. So our mesh networking device is really small, and uh, the reason that we've been able to you know, get this form back from this price point is that we pair it to the computer that's already in every operator's hand, and as a result of doing that, we've unlocked uh, the ability to really have everybody outfitted with situational awareness, just as the lands bill mandates. So, what you see here is, in practice, in the midst of a wildfire, individual crew members can create an ad hoc mobile network using these devices and phones. And because this is peer-to-peer, -peer, the more devices are in the field, the greater the capacity of the network. And as, as you can see here in this image, you can also put our devices on supporting aircraft, like helicopters, UAVs, and extend the range of the network. You can drop these units uh, and set them as relays and create, essentially, a pop-up mesh network by breadcrumbing them. And uh, so as a result, you're going to be able um, to have more connectivity further than you would with traditional uh, tactical radio systems. So the other thing too is that each device is part of a software platform. So either paired with our native apps or other apps such as Tablet Command, LifeRing, or ATAC, every firefighter can do the two most important things they need to stay fit safe, which is to share their real-time uh, GPS location with Central Command and others in the field and to send and receive mission critical position location information such as evacuation routes, supply drop points, and the locations of emerging spot fires. So this is exactly, again, what your, the lands bill mandates, which is that every wildland firefighter is outfitted with GPS. Uh, let's see here, yeah, so today our biggest customers are you know, in DOD and defense, but uh, the feedback we've received from customers within the wildland fire uh, field is incredible. In California, for instance, we heard about a firefighter who became detached from his crew However, because they could see his dot moving his way back to safety, they didn't have to uh, deploy further personnel and resources and risk uh, further loss uh, to conduct a search. And we have various uh, after-action reports and more that we can share with you here at our booth. Thank you. Well, thank you.